Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's England up against Portugal. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And so the match is underway. Bruno Fernandes. Diogo Jota and just losing control of the ball and it will be a throw-in well, play was allowed to carry on but now that it's come to a halt a caution Declan Rice did well to win the ball back he continues his run Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Derek, they must finish here. Well, it might still work out for them. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Delivering it. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Promising move this from England. Gives it a go. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So underway again here. One nil to score. Nelson Semedo and running it back Sterling surely 
And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Bruno Fernandes. And very deftly cut out. Oh, great vision. Silva. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. An alert intervention. It is a decent looking attack here. Kane. He's in behind. Full credit. Wonderful stop. Diogo Jota. Here's Ronaldo. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Mount. Rice with it. Now can they counter clinically? Or couldn't bend his run and the flag went up. Bernardo Silva. Running with the ball confidently. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. He's given it straight to the opposition. Joao Cancelo. And they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. Kane. A very effective challenge put in. Ruben Diaz. Foden. Oh, the threat is there. Can he finish? Still a chance. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, just take a look at the stats. They've certainly created enough chances to be ahead by now. They really need to start taking one or two of them to press home their advantage. Gives it a go! And able to close down the shot. Can they forge ahead? Oh, it's in! They're in front here! Now can they stay in front? Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And so the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Portugal here? There needs to be. Promising-looking attack. The cross is on, but nothing doing in an attacking sense. 
Mount. Well, he's given us away. He's managed to lose his marker. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. And we will have just one additional minute. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And thwarted there following the cross. And so it is, the first half story has been written. ball is moving again and what to do for Portugal in this second half Diogo Jota and space to exploit maybe not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned and the referee has shown him a second yellow card. That will be it for him. Well, his manager will be absolutely furious. He had to be more careful there. Bruno Fernandes. Otavio. Bruno Fernandes. Spot on with that tackle. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Otavio. Portugal looking dangerous. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And clear behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Going short. Perfect challenge. Danilo Pereira. Cristiano Ronaldo. And they'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Well, the stats tell you everything. They've lacked invention, they've lacked creativity, and they haven't got the ball into the penalty area often enough. And that's why they're behind in this game. Over it comes. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Kane. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Sterling ready. Well cleared away. Harry Kane. Giving it away. And Portugal showing good wins. Henderson. Mount. Mount. Full credit. Wonderful stop. And over comes the corner. Not too fussy in clearing his lines.
Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Really bright looking attack. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Danilo Pereira. Portugal pushing forward with options available. And using his body to good effect. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Portugal have possession once more. And close but offside nonetheless. So a personnel change then. Promising sequence. And a good looking ball. Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart. Well, he took too long to get the pass away. It's as simple as that. Foden. Must be! Brilliant save. Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. Otavio. Andre Silva with it. Regained possession. And space to exploit, maybe. Kane. Teammate available. A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Otavio. Nelson Semedo. And it's Ruben Dias. Bruno Fernandes. Andre Silva with it. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Mount. Mount, Foden, opportunity, oh my goodness, he's caught that so well, a goal of the highest class, fantastic technique. Well, let's look at this again, and the keeper just lost his bearings there, he was never in the right position, he won't want to see that again. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment.
Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.